Hi, I'm Sean Lynch. I'm coming to you from the Experimental Aircraft Association Air Venture Museum in the new Education Center where we have the Pilot Proficiency Center. And you can see over my shoulder that there are some great Redbird FMX simulators that the Pilot Proficiency Center has. And what I wanted to do in this video is just explain that if you are a Jeppesen Flight Deck Pro user, that and you are using a Redbird FMX that is Corvus capable, you can actually connect FD Pro into the simulator and fly um, using your AHARS data from the simulator into Flight Deck Pro and work on procedures in route and use FD Pro the way that you would in the real airplane. So sit back, I hope you enjoy this and that you find this useful. I appreciate you and we'll look for you on another video. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that you um, that your simulator is powered up and that you're at the Redbird Navigator page. From your iPad, you want to go into settings. Make sure that your Wi-Fi is connected to your internal Redbird network, which it is. And then you need to get the IP address, um, which you can see right here for this for what it's connected to. Uh, the IP address is right there. All right. Then we're going to go into Corvus. So you can see here that every one of these is switched on. You want to make sure that these are all gone. I'm actually going to just delete these. I won't do that actually at this moment. So I'm going to add a device because the one that um, my IP address is not listed. Okay, so again, the IP address is 10.0.0.0. .0 .0 .0. I submit and now it's there, but I do need to deactivate the rest of these. What will happen if all of these IP addresses are on, that if you have multiple iPads and in, the, in our center here, we have multiple Redbirds. And yesterday I was flying and we act, and my um, signal was basically bouncing between two different simulators. So I was flying in Duluth, my colleague was flying in Baltimore, and my position was bouncing between Duluth and Baltimore um, nonstop. And so now I recognize that, oh, this station has all of these um, and they were wide open. So now the device is added. I'm gonna go back to the home screen, all right, and I'm gonna dispatch. I'm gonna actually, I'm going to, cause since I'm sitting in Oshkosh, I'm actually going to go back to Duluth just so that you can see that my uh, position does update and I'm gonna start flight. Okay, so that's, that's doing its thing right there. Now we're gonna go into FD Pro. So we got our settings here. In order to connect, you need to go down to services select AID, and you want your provider to be free flight, okay? There are numerous providers that are available in the aircraft interface device section, but you wanna be on free flight, okay? Your network port, I have it set at 4,000, that works. Um, it, I don't think it matters anymore with, uh, with the advanced uh, version now, but if you're not seeing the result Try network port 4000. All right, so we are loaded up now. I'm gonna just start the airplane up just so that we don't lose our battery. I'm gonna close settings and I'm gonna close FD Pro. All right, now I'm gonna bring FD Pro up. and voila. We are in Duluth.
on runway three. I hope you got some great value out of this. One thing as a pilot myself, I just, it makes me so excited to see the opportunity to connect um, an advanced ATD with, with uh, an EFB. And one of those things that it's unlisted is that um, Corvus supports Flight Deck Pro. Uh, so this is a really exciting um, discovery for me. And I hope as a Flight Deck Pro user that you have the opportunity to try this out in a Redbird sim. Um, one thing to note is that there are certain authorizations that are required from Jeppesen to enable this. So based on your subscription or your company's preferences, you might not have access to the AID um, option. But if you if this excites you and it's something that you're interested in, I would suggest reaching out to your um, account manager or to your EFB manager at your company. All right, well, thanks so much, and uh, I hope you enjoyed this and got some value. Thanks so much.